Hello guys, it's Almatras here, and uh, in today's video I'm going to show you an online chess multiplayer game that I made in about an hour. Uh, I've been playing a lot of chess recently, and I sort of thought, how hard would it be to actually make an online multiplayer chess website? And turns out it's a lot easier than I thought it was, so I'm going to be showing you how I did it, basically. So yeah, obviously the first step is to actually create your base project. Uh, I created a project, and then I had some skeleton code that I wrote just before I started the video, which is just sort of a basic server for Node.js with the, the sort of uh, directory structure that I like. And it just sets up sockets, it sets up the routes, and it basically is just a blank website so that I can start working straight away. So the first thing I needed was an actual chessboard. Now, I had heard of the library chessboard.js, which essentially allows you to very, very easily get a chessboard up on the screen and control it with JavaScript. So as you can see in the screen, I was just sort of playing about with it. They have really good documentation, so it was literally two lines of code, and I was able to actually get a chessboard onto the screen. So after I played about with this just for a little bit and just got used to how the actual library worked, uh, I went onto this page only allowing legal moves, the example, and so this looked like a really good copy paste just to get us started so that all the moves that people are making are legal and that it can't be cheated. So yeah, if you look at the code, uh, we use this other library just called Chess, which is more of like the back end sort of uh, no, the non-visual side of it so that we can see if moves are illegal. And so you can see here that if we, well, we can we only pick up pieces for the actual side that's currently moving. And uh, whenever we drop, if it's not a legal move, it will snap back. And yeah, it just basically has all the basics. So that's a very good start. And as you can see from me testing it here, it does work fine. Okay, so the first sort of communication with the server is going to be next. So I thought I would just set this up at the start because it's quite easy. Uh, inside the on drop function, which is after someone makes a move, we emit this move event to the server. And so the server will get this and it will broadcast the move that it receives to everyone for now, just for simplicity. And so this part was quite easy, and as you can see, it works fine. After doing this, I realized that if you're playing on either side, you can pick up the other player's pieces. Uh, there's no checks to see what color you are. So I made two different routes, one called slash white and one called slash black for the two different sides. And uh, we just pass this into the front end, and we can then check uh, on the on drag start function. If the player is black, they cannot move the white pieces, and if they're white, they cannot move the black pieces. So that was fairly easy to deal with. So yeah, up until this point, it really wasn't much work, and we have a fully working chess game. Uh, the next thing to do was to actually make a form so that we can have custom rooms, you know, a 1v1 game, and it's not just everyone on the same game. So um, the first thing I just, for simplicity, I just made it so that if you create a game, you're playing the white pieces, and if you join a game, you're automatically playing the black pieces. And so I made a form, a quick form. I renamed the index.html to game.html and then just made a main page which is just a form with an input and two buttons where you can create a game and join a game and each of these will redirect to the different color so if you create a game then you will automatically go to the white pieces which is slash white and then if you join a game you'll go to slash black and I added this query parameter of code onto the end of it which is used later whenever we actually uh, refresh the page. Okay, so once the page refreshes, uh, we check the query parameters in the URL to see if there's this code in the URL. And if there is, then it will emit this join game event to the server and the server will join them to that game. It's uh, it's like a room. So it's almost like a, a chat room sort of thing where a uh, socket Socket.io can create a room so that only two people can say join it and they can just communicate between each other. So when the second person joins the game, the server will detect that there's a game that exists for that code, and so it will join the game, and it will emit this event start game to the room, and so then the white pieces will be able to move them. I then made it so that if someone disconnects, we emit this event so that uh, the other person wins if someone disconnects. And then I added all this stuff to the status part so that we can see updates in real time on the bottom of the chessboard. Finally, I then just did some error checking so that if there's no game that already exists, if someone tries to join the game, they get this error message, which is just letting them know that it's an invalid code. And yeah, so once that was done, there's probably some more bugs in it, but I think for about an hour, 
of coding. This was pretty good. And I've just got a side-by-side -side video up now of me playing on my computer and my phone. So um, I put this up on it's chess.game.gg. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you can. Or play your friend. I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much been the video. If you like it and you want to see more of this rapid sort of development style, then let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.